Hello and welcome to today's video, where I'll be demonstrating and reviewing the application of the Whitestone Dome glass screen protector to your new Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. I will also be examining the phone's performance with the screen protector attached. Whitestone has an outstanding reputation for creating high quality screen protectors, so I'm looking forward to seeing the result when applied to the device. Within the box you'll receive all the tools which you will need to complete the application process. To start with, lay all the apparatus out on a clear surface, so you can become familiar with everything. Ensure the surface you are working from is even. A good way to test this is to lay a tube of glue flat on the surface. If it rolls, then you know the surface is not flat. This is so when you apply the glue later on, the glue will spread evenly on your phone's display. Before we begin, your device comes with a screen protector already attached. So if you haven't already done so, please remove the screen protector from your display. To start off the application process, please use the alcohol wipe provided to clean your screen thoroughly. This is to ensure there is no grease or dirt left on the display of your phone. Next, use the microfiber cloth to wipe off any excess liquid from the wipe. Then, take the dust sticker and repeatedly stick it to your phone to lift off any dust or lint which may be on your screen, as visible dust will be annoying when applying the screen protector. Apply the long black stickers to your exterior buttons and USB ports to protect them from the adhesive. I recommend turning off your device before we begin. Now that the display of your phone is looking immaculate, place your device into the bottom section of the installation tray. Make sure your speaker matches up with the speaker section highlighted on the tray. With that done, cover the speaker with the sticker provided. This is to safeguard your device's speaker from the adhesive. Now go ahead and place the second part of the tray on top. Make sure you align the speaker part of the top tray to the bottom tray. Use the white absorbing pads and place them in the tray either side of your phone. At this point, I'd recommend giving your phone one final dust over using the sticker. If you are happy with your screen, take the plastic pin and insert it into the gap by the speaker on the tray. Using the plastic bridge, position it into the designated holes on the tray. We are now ready to apply the adhesive. To do so, remove the purple cover off the top of the tube. Do not remove the black cap just yet, as this will release all the contents instantly. Screw the glue onto the bridge. Do not fear that this will leak, as the adhesive will not be released until you have removed the black cap. That being said, if the tube is securely positioned, it is now time to screw off the black cap. Allow the glue to run for about 30 to 40 seconds to make sure all of the liquid is emptied from the container. After the time has passed, carefully remove the bridge from the tray as you do not want to disturb the adhesive form circle on your display. It is now time to apply the glass screen protector. Peel back the film that is attached. This is to be done without any direct contact to the protector. Now lower the screen protector onto your display allowing it to rest on the pin which we inserted earlier in the video. Take the plastic guide and insert it into the slots, situated at the bottom of the tray. Place your finger at the end of the tray to tilt the device until the middle of the adhesive circle is aligned with the two arrows placed in the centre of the tray. As soon as this happens, retract your finger and pull out the tab at the top of the tray. If the glue runs too far past these arrows, it could leave the adhesive to unevenly cover your screen, resulting in the protector not being able to stick down in certain areas of your screen. Now allow your phone to sit for about 60 seconds while the glue reaches the edges of your screen. However, if you have not completed this correctly, Whitestone have provided an extra tube of glue. Simply remove the screen protector from your phone and place it onto a tissue. Using the alcohol cleaner, remove all the glue from the protector and your screen. Then wipe them both over using the microfiber cloth. When all the adhesive is cleared, reattach the film to your protector to protect it from dust when reapplying the glue to your screen. Now if you are happy with the position of your screen protector, we can now turn our attention to the UV part of the process. Firstly, take the lamp and place it at the top of your device for 15 seconds, and then place it again at the end of your device for another 15 seconds. With this completed, you can now remove your phone from the tray and go ahead and give your display a wipe over with the alcohol cloth to remove any excess adhesive that may be left. To complete the installation, lay your phone on a flat surface and redo the UV process once more. So this time, place the UV lamp over the screen for 60 seconds at each end instead of 15 seconds. You can now feel assured when using your phone that your display has high quality screen protection. I immediately noticed there is no obstruction to the function of the phone with the screen protector attached. Therefore, I am still able to continue using my phone and still get the same response rate. The display of the phone looks crystal clear. Do not be intimidated by the installation process as at first it may look fiddly and long-winded, but this can be completed under 5 minutes by even those who have never applied a screen protector before. The course of the application is definitely worth the final product. There is no black borders around the protector, so the glass shielding goes unrecognised, 
causing no distraction from the perfectly engineered phenomenal edge-to-edge -edge display of the S20+. Plus. If you access your phone through fingerprint, I would recommend you delete this before applying your screen protector and then reapply your fingerprint when the screen protector is attached. This is to ensure your phone still recognises your fingerprint post its application. I have found no obstruction when attaching and removing cases. I have tested multiple types of cases and all of which haven't conflicted with the edging of the screen protector. This way of protecting your display can be considered fairly costly and a complex way to add protection to your screen, though I can assure you that using Whitestone Dome screen products offers your phone's display premium protection for a long duration of time and it's well worth the cost. I think this is a very trusting screen protector that will ensure your display's condition will stay intact for a lengthy amount of time. I hope you have found today's video useful. If when applying your screen protector you are faced with any issues, please comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. To purchase a Whitestone screen protector for your device, please check the description and comments below. For more content like what you have seen today, please hit our subscribe button. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.